hello everyone in this video we are going to learn how we are going to achieve normalizer results but without using normalizer transformation so this is a very important interview question which is generally being asked these days so we all we all know that to transform columns into rows we go for normalizer transformation so this is what is our normalizer source we have id year quarter one sales and quarter two quarter three and quarter four sales so what we need to achieve is this so this can easily be achieved using normalizer in informatica power center but our ask here is to achieve this result but without using normalizer so here is how we are going to do it we are going to create a mapping for this i've already got my source and target here I've already imported them so here we go we have this now in normalizer what we need to uh, do is that we need to set the occurrence because we have four uh, cells we need four times uh, the occurrence for that so instead of uh, uh, that we are going to use expression transformation here and we will use four expression transformations here we are. just make the canvas a little big Now ID year quarter one sales will pull it here. <coughs> In the second one, again we are gonna do it like this ID year quarter two sales. Now ID year and quarter three sales. Again ID year and quarter four sales. Okay. So we have four expression transformations. This is quarter one sales for each. We will add a new column, output column. And we will write it like this. We'll give a name, any name will be okay. We have it in this simmer. So this will be populated as quarter one. So similarly. We are gonna do it in all these four. Make sure of the data type. It's all valid. See. Similarly for the third one. And the final one so here we go now when we have four expressions we need to use an union now We'll, as we all know, firstly we'll create the groups in union. We need four groups for four quarters. Let's name it as Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Now for each group, the ports we need to add. <coughs> ID. Here, then we have quarter and sales. Also, firstly, we'll keep the sales here. The quarter, anything will be okay. Just make sure of the data type. Okay, okay, so here we go. We have our union transformation here. <coughs> now, ID year, sales and quarter. Okay. So this is the first quarter. 
IDS sales in quarter then for the second quarter we'll map it to the second group the third one and finally the last one now this is not it we need a sorter after this to sort the data so that it comes in a defined order let's sort it on year and quarter now id year sales is there quarter is there Save the mapping, it's valid. Now we'll create a workflow. We'll create a session for this. We can either get a usable or a non reusable session. These are just basic things which I'm doing. Inserted. Now we'll give the connections. These are the best practices to do. So our source is a flat file, and the name is already there. But we are gonna provide the path of the file. So here is the path where our file is residing. And the target, I have the target in the target database. Very simple. We have the target targetable option. So it's all valid and updated. So I'll show you first. This is the target, and we hopefully we don't have any data here. Now what we need to achieve is this: one two thousand one two three four one two three four one two three four, and then the same one. So we'll run the mapping. So now see, <coughs> it succeeded. So in from the source, it read three rows and it converted into twelve and loaded them. So here is the source: three rows, one, two, three, and here is the target: one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Fourth is a twelve. So we have twelve records. Now we'll check the database. Did we achieve that? Here we go. And yeah, we have achieved that, right? So that's all about normalizer results without normalizer transformation. I hope you liked the video. Thanks.